welcome back to my channel today is my birthday today is my birthday so welcome to my birthday party i am 59 years old you know it took me a while to be excited about my birthday because of the high number but i am grateful today so happy birthday to me happy birthday to me so i want to share with you some things that i've learned in my 50s i'm not out, out of 50s yet i'm just like at the at the brink there i'm at the crust that about to go, go on to a whole different era okay but i want to share that with you so thank you for joining me today for my birthday party okay and first i want to share with you some wisdom and oh i had it right here Oh, there it is. Psalms 139, 13, 14. You know I got to go there. You know I do today. You know I do. And it says, For you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. And since I did say that scripture, that reminds me of why I am very proud of being 59, unapologetically 59 today. I'm feeling good. I feel that I'm looking good and I have so much more to offer to the world. So I am just feeling great today. I am feeling wonderful today. Today is my birthday. I'm so excited. So I am going to share with you some things that, you know, some words of wisdom that I've, I've kind of learned through these years um, and maybe from last year, the year before, that I just want to share with you, okay? For my birthday, today is my birthday. So, I, first of all, I want to share with you this quote. And this quote is from um, Layla Dela. And she says, she remembered who she was and the game changed. And that is so true. I had to remember who I was. And after I got rejected, after I went through that life change, and I was like, I remember who I was. It was like I just snapped out of it. It's like, you know who you are. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, baby. You're going to pick yourself up and you're going to be the best expression of yourself. And you're going to not let anyone detonating you. You're not going to let anyone's power or anyone's uh, opinion of you destroy your own inner peace. And so, yeah, that's what happened. That's the, how the game changed for me. So that's why I love that quote. Okay. So I want to go through these. I'm trying not to be too long. You know, my, my videos be long, but forgive me if they are because today is my birthday. So I am so excited and I am so grateful just to be here another year. And God has just been so good to me. And so I'm just grateful that I am healthy and, and I am, you know, I'm doing, you know, my, my life's work as far as being an educator. Not only that, I got my new book out. And even though my book was, you know, from a place of healing, I actually wrote a book and I'm so grateful. And then I do have my podcast and now I have my YouTube channel and I'm doing some other things that I'm trying to put together. So yeah, I am just happy of who I am right now. I'm happy in the woman I am and I'm going to continue to work on me. But I want to share with you some words of wisdom and things that I've learned through from last year, this year, year before. Um, and so these things are important to me. What I learned about myself, things that I should not do, some things that I do do. Um, you know, I'm going to start off with, I eat more oatmeal. Yeah, I eat more oatmeal. It's so good for you. And so I have uh, definitely let go of uh, beef and pork. Uh, just to kind of get my body just internally healthy and that's just my opinion and I, I feel like I'm on my way to being vegan right now I do eat a lot of fish 
So, but I'm kind of like not really eat chicken. I don't really eat chicken that much anymore. But oatmeal, I love oatmeal now. So I eat more oatmeal. It reminds me of when I was growing up. I used to always eat oatmeal. So I eat oatmeal now. So that is one thing that I've learned. And it's very good for you. Very good, a lot of fiber. And it's just good for you. I just noticed that it does my body good. It does my body good. Okay. All right. Also, stop caring about what people think about me for real. Now, we ain't playing with this one. Stop caring about what other people think of me. I had to really learn that. That is a word of wisdom. It is. Stop thinking about it. It's not you. It's them. Whatever they think of you, they think of you and keep it moving. That's all I'm going to say about it. You're not even going to stay there that long. Okay. Next. Oh, what is that? Okay. Um, I had realized that I had to trust my inner voice. I had to move on. I had to follow my heart. No matter what, you're not looking for what other people support. You can't look for other people's support all the time. Okay, you got to follow your own voice. And so that's what I did when I went to my, when I made, uh, I finished my book and when I started my podcast and now with this YouTube station, I just, I just had to follow my inner voice. I had something to say, to express, to share, and no matter what, I'm going to do it, whether you support me or not. And so, yeah, I had to learn that standing on, it's standing inside myself. That's the title of my book, standing inside myself. So yeah, that is another thing I learned. Next, I learned not to react to anything that would zap my positive energy. You know how sometimes some people come around and, you know, whatever it is is going on in their life. And for some reason, you in a good mood. But when they come around or when they leave, it just you just allow them to just transform your whole spirit. And then before you know it, you feeling down or you feeling negative. I'm not allowing or have learned not to allow anyone to zap my energy. And I, I experienced that on this very day, you know, but it being my birthday and I'm so happy and I'm so just, ah, I just feel so grateful. But, you know, the person really kind of acted nonchalant. That's okay. So, yeah, I'm still feeling good about my birthday. You know, it's not all, it's not in the hands of anyone else. It's in inside of me. And so I'm the one to control me and how I feel. And so, yeah, I'm feeling good about that. That is, that's a big one. Okay. Um, I'm not going to, I've learned not to underestimate my power and uh, freedom from staying true to myself. Never, never underestimate who I am. And I went through many years when I did, not feeling that I was enough, but never underestimating no more, baby. I know I could do everything that I set my mind to. So that's definitely a lesson that I learned. Okay. Um, I stopped asking for advice so much. Um, you know, we do have people of wisdom in our lives that are really uh, the full of integrity and dignity. And if you see that, that's fine. But sometimes we ask for uh, opinions too much from people who are in their own journey. They trying to figure things out themselves. How they going to tell you what to do? So even some simple as, oh, what should I wear? Or what does this look good? I've really tried to stop that. Do the, how, what do you think I should wear? Or did, how does this look? No, uh-uh. If it looks good for me, then I'm going to wear it. So I have to be, I have to deal with that. Yeah. Whatever it, now, you know what? If you have a financial advisor, that's something different. An expert, an expert in a certain field that you need uh, consulting with. But um, a lot of times we go just too much outside ourselves for answers. And all we have to do is pray. And all we have to do is go inward and the answers are already there. And so that's the point I'm trying to make. And that is the journey that I'm on and continue to be on. Uh, next, I stopped judging people so much. And the people will tell you, I'll tell you, girl, you never going to look. There's a reason why that sister's like that. There's a reason that this happened. We, we're going to leave her alone. Maybe this happened. Maybe that happened. You know, um, and part of that is... Um, I had read this before. Um, it's a reflection of your level of consciousness when you're judging somebody. 
is that's what it is. And a lot of times it's masking your own insecurities because it comes from jealousy. You know, if you're judging them or where you feel they should be or what you feel they should do. So I stop judging. I stop judging. And that's a still a very, it's a, a ongoing process for me too. So that's another thing I learned in my 50s. Today is my birthday. Yes. Today is my birthday. I'm 59. 59. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Another thing I learned is I learned whatever you sow, you should reap. And you know what? This is a big one. Whatever you put out in the world, you're going to get it back. If you put out kindness and love and gentleness and you support people, you're going to get that back. But if you're cheating, you're lying, you're stealing, you're um, uh, you're not coming to people in a true, authentic way, then that is going to be manifested in your life as well. I've, I've walked that walk. I've had both bad and good come back to me. And so I take that very seriously, that whatever, I'm very conscious of it. Whatever that I put out there, I know that it's going to be in. So I'm going to live a life of integrity and dignity. Because right now, I need as many blessings as I possibly can get. And I need God's favor. Okay? And I'm getting it. I'm 59. <laughs> Today is my birthday. So, yeah. Okay. I started practice mindfulness. And so you know what? The thing about mindfulness is that you are you're in the present. You concentrate on being in the present moment. Even when you're eating food, like you know, you're really tasting it and the seasoning is savory in your mouth, and you just mm, it's just tasting good, and you're not only thinking about you and that food. That's it. Same with when you have a conversation with someone and they share with you and you just really listening to them. You're not listening. You're not thinking about what you're going to say. You're not thinking about tomorrow, not thinking about yesterday. You're actually paying attention and listening to that other person. So mindfulness is a big thing. And like I say, even when you're eating, it's just like your food tastes so much better when you're really eating it and you paying attention to the, the seasoning and all of that, you know? So yeah, I practice mindfulness and that's something that I learned in my fifties, in my fifties. Okay. <laughs> I also give myself to be unapologetically me. I'm not going to apologize for me being me. Sometimes I'm going to forget stuff. But like, oh, girl, I forgot. I'm not going to apolog apologize for being me. And so I'm 59 years old. I know I have my own ways. As long as I'm not hurting anyone. I know I'm me. I'm unique. You know, but you know, I know I'm loving and I'm caring and I'm kind. And so if I just concentrate on being the best expression of myself, I'm not apologizing for me being me. And if you don't like it, I guess you just don't like it. I don't have to be in your group. I don't have to do any of that. You just don't like it. But that's okay because I like it and I love me. I love me. So I'm good. I'm good. All right. Um, stop caring about things that don't matter. Definitely. That is one that I'm practicing every day. Things that don't matter. Don't even care about it. Don't even give it your time a day. Don't give it any energy. It usually is something petty. I'm, that's one thing I learned. Things that don't matter. Oh, that don't matter. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. The, the, the checkout lady who, who got an attitude. Look, here's my money. Just give me, you know, whatever. You got attitude, just give, we're going to do this transaction right away. I'm not going to judge you, sis. I don't know what's going on with you, but I'm not giving that time again. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to get it. You're not going to get your energy or um, dump your energy on my positive energy. I'm going to still tell you have a great day and thank you, even though you didn't. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we all been through that one. Okay. <laughs> And next, I'm not going to allow other people to make me feel good or bad. And that's what I would just explain. I'm not going to give you that power to determine and change my whole spirit. Think about that. Some You're giving someone else a power to change your spirit. No, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> And I, that's what thing I've learned. No, you're not doing that. I'm going to snatch it back, my positivity, and you don't have power over it. 
okay? You're not that worth that much. I'm sorry. You're not worth the, uh, being uh, adding toxic energy to my spirit. What you think of me is none of my business. And I know you've heard that before. But what I think of me matters. And if I think good things about me, then I don't have to depend on your validation. Okay? All right. Now that I am ending, or I'm right here at 59, I got a whole year before I'm 60, okay? I think of all the wisdom that I accumulated over the years with the deep sense of gratitude. Every day I'm working towards being authentic, joyful about my life now, and excited about what's to come. After years of trial and error, this life journey has become an open door of accepting myself while transforming and walking into my power. My life is wonderful. I am going to continue to be special, unique, and whole. I am so excited. Today is my birthday. Today is my birthday. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some dancing. Okay? I'm going to do some dancing. And I know that I really like to dance. And I'm going to put on my heels and I'm going to dance. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm also going to... um Oh... I'm already doing the dinner thing, and I'm doing all of that, okay? And since this pandemic, I can't go out of town, but I will be going out of town. I will be taking my trips, okay? But one thing I do want to add is that I have learned to forgive more. So I am forgiving more, just okay. And that, that's been really difficult for me, you know, because when somebody hurts you, you just, how do you let it go? But little by little, it chips away. And then if you intend, if you're intentional about forgiving, you will forgive. Okay, um, I stop gossiping because I don't want that's that creates karma. I know gossiping, so that's another thing I've learned. Um, I don't participate in hurting other people, so you know, I don't sit around and, and I'm not gonna intentionally hurt you, so I just I'm not into that. Okay, I do give more freely. I do. If God puts it on my heart to give to someone, I will do that. I will follow through on that. Okay. Uh, I'm beginning to love my body. I'm beginning to love my body. I'm telling you. <laughs> this 59 is something else, girl. So I begin to really love my body. You know, I'm still working at it. Still working and being healthy and being fit and feeding my body nutrients and, and really taking care of me and taking care of me mentally too. But I'm beginning to love my body more. And so that's a great thing. That's great, 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 great. Um, and I love to give more. Let's give more kisses, give more hugs. I love that too. Um, also to get my reading game up. That's another thing that I'm doing. Okay. So I want to, um, read to you some quotes before I go, just like I always do. And, um, here we go. God is still writing your story. Keep trying to steal the pen. Keep trying, uh, quit trying to steal the pen and trust the author. God is still writing my story. I'm going to quit trying to steal the pen from God and trust the author, which is God. He already writing my story. He already writing it. He's still writing it. And it's not over yet. So yeah, uh, make your life a masterpiece. Imagine no limitations of what you can be, have, or do. You have no limitations. 59, I don't have any limitations even now. I have so much more that I want to do. So yeah, I'm just so excited. Today is my birthday. I'm 59. That's wonderful. Okay. Even the messiest stuff and the biggest mistakes can make you some, can take you someplace wonderful. Okay, that's a good one. Wake up, beauty. It's time to beast. I love that. Wake up, beauty. It's time to beast. And that's why I'm going to be <clears throat> a beast. I'm about to do it, baby. I'm about to do it. Yes, I'm going to keep doing it, okay? She's the kind of queen that knows her crown isn't on her head, but in her soul. Ooh, and that's from Adrian Michael. Wow, the crown is in your soul, not on your head. Ooh, I like that. Maybe you've been assigned this mountain to show others it can be moved. Definitely. 
that's definitely one of my goals. I want to let you know you can move that mountain no matter what happened in your life. You still got so much more inside of you, okay? A woman's heart should be so close to God that a man should have to chase him to find her. And that's from a C.S. Lewis. Yep, you got to have some God. You got to know it and honor our creator. Absolutely, to be able to deal with me. Yes, you do. Yes. All right. If I ever let my head down, it will be just to admire my shoes. And you know how I am about my shoes. I love my heels. Yes, I do. So, yeah, that's the only way that I'm going to put my head down. Another one. I won't let my pain turn my heart into something ugly. I will show you that surviving can be beautiful. Oh, I love that. Surviving can be beautiful no matter what happened. Surviving can be beautiful. Oh, I think I'm going to cry. I won't want to cry. <laughs> okay. Yes. She made broken look beautiful and strong look invincible. She walked with the universe on her shoulders and made it look like a pair of wings. And that's from an Ariana, and I don't know what that last, last one is. Wow, a pair of wings. That's beautiful, beautiful. In a world full of trends, I want to remain a classic. I don't want to ever go out of style. I don't want to ever go out of style. I want to be a classic. And so that is it for me today. Thank you for joining my birthday party, my virtual birthday party. I am 59. I'm 59. I'm excited. I am. I'm excited for what's to come in my life. I'm excited for about new love. I'm excited about new opportunities. I'm excited about all of that. Um, send me a, a, a happy birthday if you like. You can send it to me at uh, standing inside myself six, and that's the number six at gmail.com. I would love to see it. Thank you so much for joining me. And like I said, I used to not really even say my number or my age, you know, because you'd be thinking me and be looking like, oh, she old. Well, you know what? And sometimes I guess you can say I am, but I'm, I'm going to just live this life and I'm going to be the best me that I could possibly be. So before I leave, I am going to speak a blessing to you like I always do, even on my birthday. I'm going to continue to do that. And so here we go. You are blessed, prosperous, redeemed, forgiven, talented, creative, confident, secure, disciplined, focused, prepared, and qualified, motivated, valuable, free, determined, equipped, empowered, anointed, accepted, and approved, not average. Girl, you're not mediocre. You are a child of the Most High God, and you will become all you was created to be. In Jesus' name, amen. <sighs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I am grateful today just to be here another year. It's been quite a journey the last two years. And so I feel like I've gotten so much better and stronger and I just feel powerful and I'm feeling whole. And so I'm grateful for whatever 59 is going to bring me. And I just thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and share with someone. I've tried to bring out as many positive things I possibly can and positive content. I want to be a rainbow in somebody else's cloud. And Maya Angelou said that. And I, I really do. I want to be that rainbow. So thank you so much for joining me and happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Oh, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful. And thank you so much for joining me. And I will be talking to you next time. Bye-bye.